crack it open. Turn. I'm in the vault. The hard part's supposed to be over. <sighs> Alright. Because it was wrong of me to consider the opportunity that I might be able to relax here. Alright, so upstairs. I guess it's kind of clever that the lights turn on once the vault is opened. Seems a good way to save power, I guess. So we got that one camera there. That looks like the main vault. Got two more cameras over there. And. Statue. Alright. Um, I'm hoping I can sneak down here just fine. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Crap! Don't notice me, please. Oh, barely. Oh, crap. Maybe not. It's scanning. I don't want to move. Do you know what? I'm going to. <sighs> that thing is worrying me so much right now. Doesn't seem it'll catch me, though. I'm sitting here in the light. Cannot afford to let it catch me. <sighs> what is the deal there? Ah! Can I get out? Or can I shut that off somehow? Oh, come on! <sighs> well, that's fancy. And almost pulled this off, too. Now to make a little withdrawal from Lady Hudnall's accounts. Alright, so they'll flood this room with a poisonous gas. If I am caught. And those must be pressure plates that set off darts or something because I heard something click and the like. Getting into that area is not going to be as simple as I think it will be, is it? I have to check one more time. Nope, there's no way in like that. So I'll head up here. Good thing they're colored very obviously. This is not a small vault or anything. Looks like it might have been. Alright, let's be careful with the camera. We know what they can do. Let it make its move. Listen for the clicks. It's looking to the left. Those are pressure plates. So I'll have to hop the desk. How do I get in there? I have to get underneath that camera now. As quickly as I can. Okay. That's the other one on the other side. Oh, and apparently there's like a lever here or something. Fun. No cameras. No pressure plates. I'll close this just because I feel safer doing so. I don't think anybody works back here. Oh, they left a ring. I would not want to work in the vault. If those cameras give false positives and those cameras are hooked up to a deadly gas system, that looks like the worst desk in the bank. Well, I guess all these desks are tied for worst desk in the bank. An audit. Audit by his honorable self, Swallow Esquire. Outside of official decree, the city can be considered on the verge of bankruptcy. What wealth is at large within its walls remains the well-guarded and personal fortunes of those that no longer trust the establishment. 
Careful management of this issue is within the district of Dayport. Uh, careful management of this issue within the district of Dayport is critical. If negotiations with external sources continue to be badly maintained, then our economy will fail within the month. Further orders remain on advisement. That doesn't surprise me, really. <laughs> so where does Garrett's thieving fit into the economy? Is that putting more money into it? Am I actually doing a good thing? In pursuing my interests? My very selfish interests, that is. A bond. Ah, oh, those cameras, just the sound of them make me a little nervous. That's a good thing. I want to stay nervous. I want to keep on high alert. Letter to the auditor. Mr. Swallow, sir, I must protest. If word gets out about this to the general population, you will certainly have the riot you fear. It is becoming harder for me to deflect the staff here during normal day-to-day -day duties. It is only a matter of time until someone discovers the awful truth in the vault. Your advice on this matter would be greatly appreciated. I do not think the Baron understands the gravity of the situation. I'll withhold comment on the politics for now. Mainly because it doesn't seem to portray to me. What is this? Oh, a poppy. That's for focus, but I don't use focus. Okay. Well, none of this has helped me find a way in. I know the other side. I don't know if I want to toy with this side. But this side might provide a way in, so... underneath the camera again. More pressure plates, so again I would have to hop the desk. I feel like I want to get over there. Maybe I can drop down. But if those things spot me for even a second... And that one is looking this way. Maybe it won't actually spot me from this distance. Oh, jeez! I was looking down at those pressure plates thinking that they might be like doors that you could open. Dang it. Okay, where are we? Are we at the start of the vault? Alright, we know what we're doing here. Alright, we're back up here. I made sure to retrace my steps, heading up there, and walking back here and picking up all the loot and such in a similar manner as was done prior. And now I'd like to finish exploring that little spot, if we could. And yeah, I realize... Okay, so that camera can't see me from here. Which means I should not be spotted by this camera if I head this way. That one? No, we're good. All right. Yeah, I realize these are fairly obvious pressure plates, but I think I just wanted them to be some sort of stone slabs that you'd move aside and then jump down to the lower floor, because at this point the treasure is directly underneath. But they are not that, so we'll head back down. And because we headed up from there, we'll head down this way. More pressure plates by the desk, so we're going to have to crawl over that desk again. Well, we crawled over that one before, but you know what I mean. And off we go! Whoa, Garrett! Didn't know you could do that. That's pretty cool. Getting to know your abilities more and more as time passes. And that's clearly a dart thrower. Carefully with the plates. <laughs> Carefully with the plates. Quite literally this time. Alright, so if the way in is not from above... We'll have to check around the sides there. But that floor is rigged. So, to circumvent that... We'll pull... this number. Careful. Don't... wow. I'm barely not triggering those. 
All right, let's stay alert. Watch the floor and the corners carefully. Hmm, more pressure plates. You can bet there are more on the other end. Fancy that. Another back hallway, but this one has a camera. I think I'm out of that camera's range, though. Is it really worth testing? I'm in the light, and the camera did not spot me when I was looking over here. Okay. We're good then. But still, I think I want to be underneath it. Like so. Just so I can get a look around from here. Need to get in there. There's too much stuff in the way from here, so I'm not... I'm not certain there's a way in from here. It looks like this camera magnifies the light from that candle. I wonder if that can be put out with a water arrow. Get out of range first. It's worth a shot. <laughs> a shot. Right on. Looks like it works. Looks like the light was not only to be magnified by the lens, but it also served as the power source for the device. Good to know. We did figure that out a bit late. But really, if we had figured it out any sooner, we may not have had such opportunity to learn the camera's limitations, how they can be used, likely placement spots, and how to get around them without the use of water arrows. That's all good information to have. There is no knowledge that is not power, dear viewers. So we've got free rain back here. But it doesn't seem to be getting me any closer to the end goal. It's getting me a little bit more loot. <laughs> a little bit more. Stress on the little bit part. Are you kidding me? Alright, there's got to be something in here. Maybe some info or something. Or, you know, a golden ashtray. Another one. Alright, so... Those look like chests or something. And I wouldn't mind trying to get those... But not now. I'll leave them behind if I have to. Where are the arrow slits here? Is that one right there? Yeah, that's one right there. I can't cross these. Hmm. Where to now, then? Ah, a couple of levers right in front. Who would have thought? Getting underneath that camera won't be difficult, as long as we mind these pressure plates. Treacherous, treacherous this floor is. Alright. Well, here goes nothing. Literally. Alright, so it would make sense that you'd have to pull both. No problem, we can do that. Oh, they're timed. They're timed. They're timed. They're timed. They're timed. Okay. So a staff of two is required to open this, or one very quick thief. Fortunately, I happen to meet one of those requirements. You know, the one that's possible. I think we're too far from the camera at this point to be noticed. That's what I was talking about. When it comes to learning your limitations. Alright, so I can do this. Nope. Can I reset it? Because that camera's going to catch me if I run now. Alright, I can reset it on my own. I need to wait for the timer. And now. Here it goes. Carefully with the plates. Literally. Oof, that was close. Off we go. What? Already? Hmm. The release timer must have been set from the first time that I pulled it. Because it wasn't that short last time. 
Unless the release is on a random timer. That would be troublesome. Quite troublesome indeed. Unless... Which way do I want this to be facing? I want this to be returning to me if I'm going to try that. Now seems good. Okay, careful. Let's be careful. And up we go! <clears throat> Too far to be spotted. Down we go! <clears throat> Watch out here. Similar pattern. Pull this and then gotta get back. It worked, it worked, it worked, it worked. Come on, get back, get back, get back. And duck. <sighs> Alright, the door's open. <clears throat> Man, these people are serious about their bank security. Let that camera sweep back around and then I'll just traipse right in. <laughs> Indeed, these side missions seem to be worth it. In we go. Oh, careful. But as serious as the bank has been thus far, there's probably going to be some last countermeasure. I would not put it past them. What is that? What is that? What did I do? What did I just press? What does that do? It's all right. It's okay. Poor old Lady Hudnall. First the fire, now me. Getting a bit of a conscience there, Garrett? You're a thief, man. Escape the bank. F1 open journal. The Star of Aldale, a necklace crafted with much skill and patience. The main gem alone is worth more than most men can dream. It is gorgeous. Quite gorgeous, in fact. They really ought to keep this thing locked up somewhere safe. Alright. So now I should just be able to head out, right? <sighs> There are those two chests in the back that maybe I'll want to snag. I'll, I'll go take one more look around. Maybe that button press opened up something to help me get through. I don't want to be shot by those darts, and I don't see a way past this without taking a hit. It's a possibility that that button I pressed disabled all of these traps. But how likely is it? Well, you know what? We can test, can't we? We've got these. Yep. I have no idea what that button in there did then. Obviously, I can't do this. Oops. None of those are safe. And I'm using up a lot of wood arrows. I don't know. I have the treasure for once I came. Or for which I came. Not sure if both of those words would be correct in that sentence or not. That'll do it. I'm not even sure there's anything in those chests. Okay, Garrett. You were able to hop these no problem earlier. There we go. Now that the pressure's not on. You seem to thrive under pressure, don't you, Garrett? It's all right. That's something we have in common that we do. All right, now it's time to get out of here. Preferably without taking any darts. Um, I could just water arrow that and make escape easy. That is swooping around that way. That's coming back this way, though. Um, alternatively, I can separate the threats. Instead of having to worry about circumventing two cameras in one go, I should simply be able to do something along these lines. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, great. This puts me between pressure plates, though. 
Hmm. Not a desirable outcome. Because that's too far to see me. So is that. Something on that desk. Right? Yeah. Alright, so we'll let that camera sweep back around. Alright, so now it's just a matter of getting out of the bank. Up we go, Garrett. Up we go. And let's not get caught. Let's just swoop right here. Take it nice and slow. Methodical. By the book. We've got what we've come for. Let's get out. And finish this job. Okay, so that is going to be looking at me in just a second. I gotta move, though. Because I think it's always going to be doing that. Now I've got to wait for it to finish moving. And then get underneath it before the one behind me spots me. Like this. Okay. <laughs> kind of feeling the pressure now that I've actually got the treasure. No, Garrett, that's not what I wanted you to do. I wanted you to swoop. Uh, the way out is through the other door. So, we'll do this. Whoa. Oh. The tiles are playing tricks on me. Looked like the one that I was just about to swoop over was raised. I can go ahead and just grab what's on this desk. Looks like just an ink bottle. And a pen. It's not how much you steal. It's how many pens and how much ink you can get. Okay. Now I don't want to open the door when the patrol dude is walking by. So I'll wait for him to pass this area, which should be soon. And I'll open the door behind him. There he goes. I've got to make sure to reclose it. Why can't the gloom stick to the filth of the street? I'll just let him walk by. If I were to hasten my retreat. I would risk swooping into the light and having him spot me. Here we go. Nobody here. There's that one camera on that side. Okay, now I've got to get out without that camera seeing us. We can take the stairs and get to the window. Where is it going? I kind of want to put that out. Okay, it's on its way back. We're okay, we're okay, we're okay. Close this. And then up the stairs we go before the, the camera spots us. Okay, almost there. Almost there. There's no patrol up here, we took care of that. Unless, situation, unless the situation has changed. I don't think it has. This is where we will exit. This is where we came in from. Up we go. All right, very close now. <clears throat> okay, so do I do I just leave from the same place that I entered? Can I climb up here? No, I can't. That would be cool, but no, I can't. All right, now let's be careful because we barely escaped a patrol by jumping on this rope last time we were here. I have to know if he's still wandering back and forth through here. Let's make our jump, Garrett. <clears throat> All right. I hear the whistle. Down I go. Let's not. Let's watch carefully. Don't. Oh crap! There he is. Okay, not a problem. We'll simply be patient. He'll turn back around at some point and walk right through there. And at that point. Sick. I know it that point we could drop down hopefully he's the only one counting on that all right get us down Garrett get us down come on buddy there we go okay don't let him spot you wait how are you gonna get by him as he oh there he goes okay there's a camera there but it's not looking at us 
That area of the darkness. Okay, go left, man. Go left. Are you going to go left? I don't think he's going to go left. He looks like he's coming back this way. No, 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 no. Watch out for the camera. Whoa. Go on, man. Go on before the camera gets me. I have to hope this is the exit. Come on, Garrett. Let's do this. And... Is this it? Is this where I have to go? Is the job considered complete? Is I can go to this district? Sure. Yes. Okay. Well, each uh, side mission seems to have its own end of mission. Uh, sorry, I'm just. There was a lot of tension there. I'm just kind of a. Uh... You know. <laughs> I'm just kind of letting that all wash through. Alright, so, uh, looks like. Side missions or side quests have their own score screens at the end of them, so there's that. And, uh. Yeah, I think that will do it for this particular session. Whoa, look at all that money. <laughs> that was kind of nerve wracking. <laughs> <laughs> I liked it. <laughs> okay. I think that'll do it for now. Let's get into the shadows somewhere. I think that'll about do it. All right. <sighs> Thanks a lot for watching, guys. No, hang on. I think I feel okay here. I think I feel fairly safe. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time.